Man, I should probably record these before Nitroid, because now I'm all... The Nitroid video that doesn't exist, because... I just quit that session out of frustration with the controls, because... Uh, whatever. So I'm hoping playing some Marios will cheer me up again, either. Wounds, Black Al, Mario, uh, Mario gives up too. Just go ahead. Just say no. no. I'm not a chicken, you're a turkey. Let's go. <laughs> Just say no. What? What? What this has to be about to be about a four? I don't know. You see, I just said no. It's not the correct one, but they're homophobes. Oh man, there's a big old loop grass. Except even though there's grass, there's no platforms. It's a thing that this game has. It's not distinguishing things you can go through and can you can go in this pipe. Even though you just want to say no, I'm getting mixed messages here, so... What? Okay, you just want to go there. So why? Wow, that was quite a secret. <laughs> that was the most secret of all se- I can't believe I just secreted that secret. I'm gonna secret that secret all over the world. I'm still gonna say no like the doll that just would always say no, I guess. This, I'm making references some people out there will not get, probably even the majority, I'd say. So, this is land filled with dirt. You gotta say no to dirt, but not no to knowledge, because you gotta know about things to be able to negate them. That's what a lot of people don't seem to understand. You can jump on a thing, and then have a guy that's very hard to dodge right in your face face because that's pretty great then you bounce on a turtle and a mushroom takes its place it's that's how karma work and that's also how john carmack works and disco has nothing to do with anything oh man there's a little clop of dirt there what's that mushrooms <laughs> mushroom pipes whoa <laughs> Got an all car car puckrum. What's going on with the little white thing? Oh no! The speaker box wants. Oh, there's a hopping rex. <laughs> I love it when games have these things, crazy things where things are all crazy. Hey, the rex, you got a face! Yay! How do you? <laughs> rex has a bit of a neck problem here. It has to be said. Oh, the fire flower is still a fire flower, though, so you can't trust some things. Oh no! That bomb's probably- you know, that bomb's all squishy. A squishy bomb's a pretty funny thing. What is up with the, little, the wings, though, after Mr. the plant there? It looks weird, you know? In the weird way that weird things kind of look like weird- Whoa, okay, so that bomb's a bomb, though. I'm getting kind of a confused existence here as I- not quite make that jump. World 2 and already we got these where they're not precision jumps, they're you really need to back off your jump jump. So those mushrooms aren't to make me big. They're about to make my sensory my sensory bigs. No my 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 I don't know what I was trying to say there, honestly. But it's kind of unf like, you know, you could with this gimmick, you can say, oh, it's totally on purpose that that speaker box transformed into a bomb when it croaked. I mean, it's all about the crazy drugs after all. Oh, my. Own. And, you know, you, you sort of can make, um, you can sort of make that believable. It's, it, it, it's, sort of, it, it's kind of a helpful tool to have. Are you a bomb? I have no idea. Some of them explode. Some of, whoa! Some of them would rather uh, share their casserole recipes, but unfortunately, it's none of those that we have encountered ourselves. So you know, it's kind of too. Oh, 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 hey, hi! Whoa! Things are being helpful here, all because of the wonderful world of mental dehydration. Surely a thing that can help you gain lots of friends out there in the world. And is something you shall should try. Oh, someone left their luggage here from Switzerland. And we're just gonna leave them there in case they come back to get it. It's the polite thing to do, you know? You don't want to mess around with stuff of people, even if the people aren't around. Maybe they're hiding behind the bushes and are doing a psychological uh, experimentation. And you don't want to get... You don't want to be part of that when you come on here. Psychological, really. 
more like bricky place. <laughs> That's a taunt that makes no sense. Bricky place featuring skeleton. This is a castle. Well, it's true that there's a lot of brick-like patterns. Suppose this could be long jumped. I don't know which one is safest of the options between long jumping or throwing a tantrum, but tantrums in Mario games don't help a whole lot. Like, they'll help you out in some situations out there, but not the Marios. Unfortunately, a tantrum only works... Ugh. <laughs> on a person that can physically be annoyed while a video game are specifically rigged to kind of ignore most like whines and other voice afflictations which affect the human psyche. I really don't like potabo jumping because I always feel like I'm just a thing. And too late all the time. Okay, you can This is not gonna go well. This is not for some reason have more trouble than the average player maybe and I don't know, apparently as soon as you and, and like Add a put a bow to the equation, I turn into Molossus Johnny, the worst video game player in the world. And then I hate being Molossus Johnny. I mean, you're, if your hands are Molossus, it's pretty difficult to type with your boxing gloves on. You gotta remove them, and that just gets annoying. Eh, yeah, those are totally doable. Why am I such a weenie face? I mean, really. I had no reasons to be all weenie and face like there, and yeah, there I was. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> it worked out, but still felt kind of crazy. There's an M. Um. Ah! I guess Mario jumps a lot further than I thought. Uh -oh. Dunce machine. Dunce machine. That's a reality I am not certain I am ready to accept. I mean, once you give Dunce a machine, where do you stop? More importantly, where do you go? And more importantly than that is, how many pickles does it take to impress Peter? That's a real question. Because it ends, it's a statement that ends with a question mark. A dragon coin isn't getting gidden unless I'm big, so, uh, good times. Good times. So, this level is named after bricks. Is it strictly named after the, the tiles of the texture of the world all around us? Is that sufficient enough to serve as a name? I think it does. I mean, Donut Plains was named after all the donuts in the plains. I mean, there's a, there's a, you know, look! Welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Something like that, perhaps. Where do we start again? Right before the trees. Wow, that's kind of a ways off the M is. And we keep using words and expressions that already exist to mean new expressions for words that already exist. <laughs> taking any chances with you around. Over here? Well, I don't know. Being big isn't that big of an advantage. Well, I don't know. I forget, forget if my... No, a lot of my death... Well, one was due to lava. So being big doesn't make a difference. But one of them was due to a guy. In which case it does make a difference. So let's just say we are gender neutral and leave it to that. Okay. Okay, there. Door. How's it going? Yeah, getting my, my jumps worked out here. It's pretty neat. Oh no, it's the hap... The ha happening Hopping idiot boss again. Mechadunce! I was right! Mechadunce! Look at me, I got a face and teeth on my head. And you're still kind of hard to... kind of guess there when you jump. It's like, hello, sometimes I jump, sometimes I turn around. Who knows in this crazy world of ours filled with string beans and a whole bunch of cans all together now. 
singing a song in your honor. Hey, it's Discolored Switch, the big green button. Let's go see what that button's about. It's about pressing other buttons while we're listening to Fever. Whoa, coins have appeared. Now that is impossible. Oh man, that flute is loud. <laughs> you got a fever, Mr. Turtle! You didn't press the thing. Oh man, that's pretty right now. What exactly what I want? I guess I want to do something like that, I suppose. That's totally possible. At least sometimes. At least most times. Now I'm gonna waste that shell and die. Yay! No, not quite yet. Instead, I must celebrate my death. That's going to happen soon, I can just tell. Don't know why it didn't happen yet. Now I'm gonna die! Or I guess I didn't. Oh. And now I've inadvertently uh, turned the uh, into But you know, we already all knew that. The switch is the switch is the switch is the switch! But why is it so weirdly discolored while throwing iron donuts about? Ah, I'm getting my playing high back, so let's go ahead and go to the castle here. Let's do the castle. Why not do the castle? Mmm, lobster! Mmm, <laughs> lobster. I don't know, I'm not a big fan of seafood myself, but uh, I know I'm a minority. <laughs> there's, there's Dale Dribble there from King of the Hill. I don't know why. He's uh, having a good time. There's a skeleton. That was hiding right behind the border of the camera. Placed in such a way where, you know, once I'm midway through my jump, it's too late for me to do anything about it. Yeah, this is fine, I guess. Can I, can I kill you? I guess not. Can I speak to you? Oh, okay! For a giant lobster. Oh, wait, it's Clogret or something from Mario 2. That's pretty great. He throws rocks and is the world of Boss 5. It's pretty fantastic can't go up that ladder. That ladder ain't for going up. What's that? A bomb? I guess so. That was clear. It has everything to do with lobsters. Thank you for sharing, Mr. Level that just kind of shoved things out of nowhere, apparently. A good time indeed. <laughs> like, really, what, what can I say to that? It's like, yeah. Well, I, I don't know how I thought it was a bomb at first glance. Like, why? I'm <clears throat> Uh, it's all over the place though, and it's it's kind of I don't know, kind of depressing, I guess. Looks like I sh maybe I can. Yeah, like why is the edge of the ladder crumply? If you can climb the rest, it just kind of makes it annoying. Well, I suppose it might be on purpose, but it's still kind of annoying. That for another bomb that could explode and kill me. What's your opinion on this? Well, I suppose you no. Know, once you you know they're bombs, and you gotta stop them, even though it may be very difficult. You you, you you know it. You know you know it or you don't. Knowledge. Where am I going now? I hope I'm not going to die now. And that was this very unnecessary cow. -ow. Well, at least now by being small, I can spin jump all I want. Eh. See? I can spin jump all I want. I couldn't be doing that if I was big. Sometimes being small has an advantage, such as... receding hairlines. Well, taller people tend to die earlier because their heart, you know, spends their whole life pumping more blood for longer distance. I can't read the light like like boom hour. No way. That's weird. Why is this a king of the hill theme thing? Whoa! Well look at that. He's now a wizard that you can't kill because he's all like invincible or whatever. Because Oh why did I do that? Why did I That was why I did that so I could that flashing is gonna hurt someone's eyes. And falling in the lava is gonna hate my, my hate, yes. Gonna hurt my soul. I'm gonna get to do this small again. It's a pretty good time. In a little room here. Pretty great. Ugh. Oh, wizards appearing exactly where I wanna go. Pretty great. It's done on purpose. Doesn't look like it. It's just kind of conspicuous. Oh. Uh, and we 
here, but hopefully, kind of, let's also I get a power up for this one shot, so make it count, make it rock, make it rot, I kind of wish I, uh, I think I'd rather have the ability to spin jump than, whoa there, buddy, rather have the ability to spin jump than the ability to take a hit, which is sort of meaningless, I think, in this environment. Because it looks like a lot of my concerns are, while well, either a wizard appearing in my face, which is always a thing, or a swamp eating all the loose. And the loose isn't like a, an actual noun, so it does make that statement kind of strange. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> uh, Texan wizards are without a doubt the worst kind there is. I don't think anyone is going to try and uh, deny that. Even Texans themselves, I'm pretty sure, are aware of it. It's just the nature of the thing, you know? Some things put together, strung together in a list, they make a mighty fine line. What's this? It's Clogra! He's a guy. You're supposed to throw his rocks and throw it at him or something, but okay. The potabo is kind of like a bit much. And somehow getting rammed into the wall is always a good time. Man, this section is fast if you rush it. <sighs> Idiot. Claw grip! Let's hope that your rock doesn't glitch me in the wall this time. That sounds like a good time. Did I hit you or not? You don't have a health thing like a lot of other dudes with attitudes or otherwise. Well, <laughs> that happened. Oh, I think I've learned an important lesson today is that I cannot anymore play Nittery first and Mario after because my, like, my nerves are already kind of on edge. And it's affecting my playing, and my patience, and everything, and just look at the results here. Ah! It's great how literally all the difficulty I've ever had in regards to this boss is in practically entirely due to the Podobo, except for the one time the rock glitched me through the wall. Oh god, I'm so sorry about the quality of this episode. It has nothing to do with the level. The level itself was fine. I'm just... I feel like poo when... after... The Bad recording and uh, uh, I can't really want to be enjoying this. That, that's funny, you know. There's a funny little smile there, but I'm just. I'm, it's obvious I'm not there, so you know. I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. Uh, World three is up there. I guess that's where we're gonna go because I reckon the cave did was like we pressed the green switch and the cave was a blue outline. So we're gonna see that another time. Uh, yeah, next time we're gonna be going to World 3, which is apparently pretty dry. Oh man, what a humor.